Okay, I'm going to do a very quick, um, hopefully quick, comparison here of my CR1238 keychain lights. Um, this is my newest concoction. It's a Trustfire TR803 with a um, PWM mode only unregulated driver with memory and an MCE K bin emitter and uh, an IMR 16340 battery to drive that sucker because it's pull over 2 amps so high. Um, this is the host that was meant to hold all that cool stuff that <clears throat> had a weird pill that would not fit the 17 millimeter driver board. So this is um, a really nice keychain torch that I like a lot. Um, probably won't even mod it. I'm going to compare that as with a reference torch. It's uh, it says it's a Q2, but let me tell you something. That thing is, is every bit as bright as uh, this here, Trustfire um, Q5 torch, which I modded with a uh, a one amp uh, buck boost driver. Um, the driver in this new one seems to be very similar to that one in that it's got memory, um, it bucks and boosts, it works well with um, primary batteries as well as rechargeables. Um, but you can see my has got kind of a giant keychain here. But this one's gone, so for the sake of this comparison and an opportunity to play with my brand new Postal and Beauty, I'm going to compare it to that one. So let's get the lights off and uh, start having some fun. Okay, pitch black. So first, on high mode, is the uh, typical CR123A Cree XRE torch. Okay, got a nice tight beam. It's pretty bright. I think the camera's uh, auto iris mode here is probably going to do some adjustment, but hopefully you'll get the idea of the difference. Okay, pardon the messy house, my wife would kill me if she knew I was going to post a video of these conditions. Okay, that's that. And now for the little MCE guy. Big difference. You can see it's got a much wider beam pattern. Actually, the camera shows up the hotspot really well. Didn't expect that because it's almost undetectable to the eye. Strobe mode. Can't really tell it's strobing on the camera. SOS. That's low. Wow. Boy. Camera doesn't do low justice. Medium. And high. And back to the traditional XRE with one amp driver. It's high. Medium, low, can't even make out low, can you? And then we got fast strobe, this weird double pump strobe, SOS. And then back to high again. And then one more time back to the MC. What a difference, right? It's got side, so you get a distance comparison from a little greater distance. Less reflective light from a white painted room. A little bit of light out there right now. Probably from the neighbor's yard lights. But I don't think the camera phone picks it up. So, again, here's the traditional Cree XRE torch. It's not really showing off the side spill so much. This camera, that is. It's phone. And then here's the MCE torch. It's really weird the way I can't see what I'm doing through the phone. I think the auto iris in this one was working against me. And back to the X, sorry. And there you have it.